What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime. I'm gonna to try to make this video quick, but I really wanted to talk about Retroid's upcoming Retroid Pocket 4 and the 4 Pro. On paper, these things look like really good handhelds, especially given the price point here. The Retroid Pocket 4 is coming in at 149 and pre-orders go live December 20th, 8 p.m. Eastern US time. I've also got a little bit of information about the ship date here also. So for the Pocket 4, this is going to be shipping on January 25th, 2024. The Retroid Pocket 4 Pro, January 15th, 2024. So the Pro will be shipping a little before the uh, regular version. So just keep that in mind. But again, Pocket 4, 149. Uh, if we take a look at the Pocket 4 Pro, it's coming in at 199 Now, there are some major differences here, and with each one of these, we are seeing some pretty good color options. We've got the 16-bit, there's a black version, 16-bit US, you know, we've got that uh, US SNES color in here, watermelon, which I really like. I've got the flip in the watermelon color, and it looks absolutely amazing, ice blue, and crystal. So let us know in the comments below if you're going to pick one of these up, what color would you choose? But here's the deal. Again, major differences between the two. Retroid Pocket 4 is going to have the MediaTek Dimensity D900. Both of these are 8-core ARM SOCs, and when it comes to the D900, we get two A78 cores running at 2.4 GHz and six A55 cores running at 2 GHz. It's got the G66 MC4 GPU running at 900 megahertz, and you get four gigabytes of LP DDR4X RAM. And real quick, it looks like the base version is not gonna get any kind of video out support over USB Type-C, so that's definitely another thing to keep in mind. The Pro version, 1080p over Type-C. Now we've seen both of these chips, they're not new to the market, and we've got an idea of how these things are gonna perform. First thing I wanted to take a look at were some benchmarks with that MediaTek D900. And keep in mind, these benchmarks were run on a phone with the D900. Since we've got active cooling with the uh, new Retroid Pocket 4, there's a chance we'll get a little more out of this. But the first one we have here is Geekbench 6, coming in with a single core of 889, multi 2224. So this is around 58% faster single core performance than the older Snapdragon 845. And when it comes to the compute score for the built-in GPU, it's only around 17% faster than the Snapdragon 845. And we've seen some handhelds with that 845. That chip is definitely getting a bit dated. And we also have an Antutu benchmark coming in over 500,000 for this. So it's not looking like a slouch. I mean, this is a pretty quick little chip, especially given that it's coming in a $149 handheld. This is miles ahead of the rock chip CPUs that we've been seeing in a lot of handhelds recently. So yeah, I mean, we're definitely going to get a nice little jump in performance over those handhelds. But I got to say, the one that I'm most excited about is the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro. Both of these will have a 4.7 inch display with a resolution of 750 by 1334 running at 60 FPS, maximum brightness of 500 nits. They both have a 5000 milliamp hour battery and looks like we're going to get active cooling here. So we can definitely keep those clocks up on either one that you choose. Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2 and again the Pro version does support video over USB Type-C. It will, have analog, it will have analog triggers and hall base sticks, and they have given us an image of kind of all of them laying out. I think that watermelon still looks really good. Between the ice blue and that watermelon, I just really like the clear variants that they've come up with. Now, of course, since the Pro model is going to be shipping a bit earlier, a lot of people might want to get their hands on this, and this is the one that I would definitely suggest. We've got a more powerful CPU here because it's powered by the MediaTek Dimensity D1100. With this, we get four A78 cores at 2.6 gigahertz and four A55 cores at two gigahertz. But when it comes to that GPU, this is gonna make all the difference in the world. It's the Mali G77 MC9 at 836 megahertz. This does outperform the MC4 in the base model by quite a bit. Plus we're gonna be getting eight gigabytes of RAM instead of four. Both of them are gonna utilize LP DDR4X. Both do support a micro SD card and they have 128 gigabytes of UFS 3.1 storage. So the internal storage here is going to be quite fast. And both of these are coming with Wi-Fi 6. So they're going to make some really good little streaming devices. And both of them are going to do really well with apps like Steam Link, GeForce Now, or Xbox Cloud Gaming. 
But when it comes to native Android gaming and native emulation on the device, I'd say the Pro is definitely going to win hands down. Because just taking a look at some Geekbench scores from the Dimensity 1100, single core 1103, multi 3296, and they're facing this off against the Snapdragon 860, which is still a really great chip. Even in GPU performance, the Dimensity 1100 beats out that 860 all day. And of course, we had to take a look at that Antutu benchmark. These are scoring around 750,000. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to beat out the uh, base model for sure. GPU, CPU performance. And when it comes down to it, I mean, if you're looking to get the best emulation out of your device, I would go with that D1100. Good chance that we're going to have some really awesome GameCube emulation on the new Retroid Pocket 4 Pro. If you're familiar with these Retroid devices, you know this is going to be running Android. We've got Android 11 and they do support over the air updates, so if they find any bugs they can definitely patch it right over the air. Now with the price difference of $50, I know it could definitely make or break somebody getting one of these, but if you can afford it, I would definitely go with the Pro model. We are going to see much better performance in everything that we do here. And in the end, it's really meant to be a gaming device slash emulation device. And you want to get the best performance, especially out of the higher end emulators. And the Pro model is really going to give you an edge over the base model. But yeah, I'm really excited about the Retroid Pocket 4. Glad to see that it's not going for $250. I mean, maximum price here is $200 on the Pro model, which I think is very reasonable given the price of these handhelds on the market right now. I'd like to know from you in the comments below, are you interested in picking one of these up? Are you going to do a pre-order? Are you going to wait until people get their hands on them to see how they perform? And if so, let me know what color you choose in the comments below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you want to learn a little more, I'll leave some links to Retroid's website. And like always, thanks for watching.